I'm Eric Wielander, welcome back to my channel. This video has been months in the making as I've been trying a lot of different products that now support Matter. And I wanted to make a quick video rounding up some of the products that I think you should consider buying and then some others that you should probably avoid. Now, Matter, if you're not familiar, is the new smart home standard that's supposed to make everything compatible with everything, sort of. So you should be able to see a Matter label on a box of smart home tech, let's say at your local store or on a website, and you know that it's gonna work with other Matter compatible stuff in your smart home and work with, let's say, your smart home platform of choice, like in my case, Apple Home. Now, theoretically, one of the benefits of Matter is that you could use multi-admin, meaning that you can have the same device in, let's say, Google Home and, Amazon and Apple's ecosystems. But practically, I think the real benefit is just the long-term flexibility. When I buy smart home tech, it might have many different roles over its life as my home and my life change and evolve. I change my setup like this. More on that at the end of the video. But you aren't locked into one ecosystem. So if you like Apple Home today, but you decide you want to start using Google Home later on or who knows what else, then you're able to make that change and take a lot of your devices with you. Or if you own your home and you intend to install smart home tech like smart switches that you hope to leave in the walls when you sell your home, then whoever moves in can use that same equipment with whatever smart home system they prefer. Now we're gonna go through five products today and I wanna say a special thanks to all of these companies for sending me these products to check out over the course of this year so far with no strings attached. None of this video is sponsored by any one of these companies. So first on our list is the Govi M1 two meter light strip. Now Govi has been making amazing lights for years now, but unfortunately those of us who like to use Apple home to automate our smart home, we can't really use a lot of their lights. So I'd always look at them longingly and wish I could use them. But now with the Govi M1 two meter light strip, it's Govi's first product to support the Matter standard, which means we can use it in Apple Home. And this light strip is incredibly bright at about 150 lumens, which can almost replace like a lamp in a room. I was also really impressed with the adhesive as I installed it on this desk and had to sort of undo it and then put it back on for cable management and other setup stuff where I probably should have waited to put the light strip on, but whatever, it still worked fine and the adhesive holds up great. And that's a detail, unless you've installed a bunch of light strips, you might not appreciate, but it really, it makes a difference if you have good adhesive on the back of a light strip to get it to stick well to whatever surface you're trying to put it on. Now, if you use the Govi app, there's all kinds of additional features. You can make it uniquely addressable and kind of add all kinds of fun rainbow and other color animations and stuff. But personally, I just automate this inside Apple Home. So I tie it into various scenes here in my office, like my meeting scene or my general work time scene. And it's just really nice to have that added light right behind my desk. Now, while I do recommend buying this light strip, there are a couple catches you should be aware of. One is that you cannot cut the two meter light strip to be any shorter. So if you're looking for a light strip to be shorter than two meters, you wanna stay tuned for later in the video when we talk about an alternative option. The other catch is that Govi also sells a five meter version of this light strip, but that does not currently support matter at the time of recording this video. And it looks like if they were to support matter on it, they might need to actually update the hardware on the box for it. So I would say right now, look at the two meter version specifically if you want the Matter and Apple Home support and then potentially extending that longer versus going with the five meter version. Now moving on to another company, TP-Link. I love TP-Link's HomeKit compatible smart plugs as an inexpensive way to add Wi-Fi connected smart plugs to your home and they've been working great in my home. And while well, TP-Link, I think, sent me a couple of those, I bought most of them that I use across my home. So then when TP-Link announced their Matter compatible smart plugs, uh, they sent me some of those to check out. And out of the box, these were pretty easy to set up and worked pretty well, but I've had trouble getting them to stay reliably connected to Wi-Fi over the long run. So 
I don't think there's something I would recommend right now. A lot of these companies are working through a lot of software issues over time with these various plugs. Maybe the issues are on my end with Wi-Fi, but I don't think so. And I really can just speak to my own experience here on the channel. Well, I really like and still like the HomeKit compatible TP-Link smart plugs. I would say avoid the new P125M Matter smart plugs, at least until maybe things improve with the software. Now, kicking it up a notch to a smart plug I also love that's a little bit more premium, and that's the Eve Energy, which is now made for Matter. So Eve's been making the Eve Energy with a built-in thread radio for a while now, and then this year they updated it to support Matter out of the box. So instead of a HomeKit setup code, it comes with a Matter setup code. And I found the setup process to be pretty smooth there. I also love how Eve started to support updates to their software through the Apple Home app. I still love having the Eve app because of the added feature that gives you around automation, but it's great to be able to get those updates right in the Home app as well. So you technically wouldn't need the Eve app. Now it is about four times the cost of a TP-Link plug at $40 a plug, but you're getting a uh, thread radio, which is gonna be lower power usage than Wi-Fi and potentially more reliable. And I found the new Matter plug to be just as good as previous HomeKit compatible ones, which I also liked and recommended. And if you already bought an existing Eve Energy with the Thread Radio version, Eve actually has a software update and transition in the app where you can make it a Matter device. Now, if you already have it working fine in your Apple Home, I would say it's not worth actually doing this conversion unless you're trying to get it to work with another smart home platform or some other reason you'd want to convert it. But I do think it's great that Eve did that for their existing plugs so that you have more flexibility down the road when the need arises. So I would definitely say Eve's Matter Smart Plug is one to buy. But that said, Eve's also released a number of other Matter compatible products and one of those is the Eve Motion. Now Eve last year released an updated version of their motion sensor that runs on thread and it was a great product. They sent me one HomeKit compatible and it worked fine. And then they sent me their new version of the motion sensor that's now compatible with Matter out of the box and comes with the Matter setup code. Now, I've had trouble getting this to work reliably. And well, maybe some further troubleshooting and resetting it a few more times and making sure that the firmware is updated the latest version again or whatever, maybe I could get it to continue to work reliably over time. But I just think motion sensors in general are like doing smart home automation on hard mode. In theory, on paper, motion sensors are amazing, right? You put them in a room and then you walk into that room and the lights just turn on. And then when you leave the room, the lights just turn off. But in reality, especially on the Apple Home platform, it's really tricky to get all the timing of those automations right. And so you'll end up being in a room, but when you're not making any motion, the lights will turn off or you'll end up walking into a room and because of other circumstances you've set up, the lights don't turn on or they take a minute to turn on. So motion sensors can still be handy in let's say a hallway or a stairwell where you might wanna have uh, lights turn on temporarily, but in general, motion sensors I think are just not nearly as useful as a lot of people who are newer to smart home tech might think. Now, that said, I think the one that's much easier to set up and has been very reliable for me is Eve's door and window sensor. This is also based on thread. I have one here in my office when I come in the door every morning to get to work. It just turns on all the lights exactly how I want for my work day. I've tried their new matter compatible version of this and it's great. So avoid the Eve motion and I would steer you more towards the Eve door and window because matter or not, I just think that's an easier device to set up and get going with. Now, Nanoleaf, if you watch my CES video earlier this year, you know that Nanoleaf has a lot of exciting new products planned. And one of those was an update to their Essentials line. Now, this came out initially with Apple's HomeKit and supported Thread. It was one of the early devices to support the new Thread wireless standard. I interviewed their CEO here with a video on the channel, but they needed a few more hardware changes to get those products to support Matter. So they came out with new versions this year 
that now support matter. And I've been playing with especially the Eve Essentials light strip, and I think it's a really good light strip. It maybe doesn't have all of the features and extra brightness and stuff of the Go VM1, but you have options to cut it down to a smaller size if you want. And it's just a great basic light strip that you can set up now with Matter. I have one here in my office under my cabinet and it works really reliably with Apple's home app. So I definitely recommend you consider buying the Nanoleaf Essentials light strip, especially if you want the flexibility to cut your light strip down to a smaller size. Now the Nanoleaf A19 Essentials bulb, I've had some issues getting it to work reliably in my Apple Home app where it won't adjust the colors, it just adjusts the brightness and I've tried troubleshooting it. But to be honest, I don't really have much of a need for that A19 bulb in my home. So I think if I was using it more regularly, maybe I would hit some kind of a roadblock, but I've really just been focused on the light strip because the performance there has been much more reliable. So I just haven't dug into the Nanoleaf A19 bulb and why it's giving me these problems. Maybe you have, and you can let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have other Matter products that you're excited about, you've been using and really enjoying, let us know in the comments below. It's great to hear what other people are, are having success with. Now, for those of you who are a regular viewer on this channel, you might notice that I'm not sitting in the leather chair anymore. There's not a plant behind me. My backdrop has changed, and that's because Long story short, as I've been doing more and more work out of my home office, it just made sense to move from sitting at a stool at a cabinet back to sitting in a real chair at a real desk or standing at a real desk. And so I brought my standing desk and chair back out of storage and then just basically went back to my old setup, which should look pretty familiar if you've been watching the channel for a while now, but I've also added a few new quirks and features to this setup, which we will talk about in future videos. And if you're thinking of adding Matter devices to your smart home and haven't yet checked out my video about what you should do before you add Matter devices to your home, be sure to check out that video linked somewhere here on the screen. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.